Hey everybody, Queen D here, and I'm here to talk to you about the end. It's over. It's all over. It's over as in, I stopped breastfeeding my baby. Yeah, that's what I did. I stopped breastfeeding my son about a month now, and um, I chose to breastfeed him because of the gazillion benefits that um, there are in breastfeeding your child. Um, I, I was also blessed to be able to do so. I mean, obviously, I wasn't going to be breastfeeding him for the rest of his life, right? Mom, I want milk. <laughs> and so I should be celebrating, right? But here's the truth, I'm not. There is a freedom ah, that comes with knowing that I'm no longer, um, I want to say, slave to my child. But there's also that connection that we had, like, he needed me and he doesn't really need me all that much. Um, and that's, that makes me a little sad. Like they always talk about breastfeed your child, it's great, here's what things to expect when you're breastfeeding, um, when you're going to start, when your milk comes in. Um, but I felt like there wasn't a lot of resources as to the end of breastfeeding. And so here are a few things that I experienced. Breast pain. Can you say engorged much? Like, duh, because the milk has nowhere to go. And so, of course, you're subject to having a lot of pain. Um, and I hear it can last, my doctor said it could last up to, wait for it, six months. That's like half a year. You like how I did that math, right? Anyways, turned out that for me, it only lasted two weeks. And so I guess that's the minimum cure for breast pain, um, as my doctor again said, uh, in, in her words, nothing a warm compress can't help soothe. And so you want minimal action going on down there because you don't want to promote milk production, but if you really can't, you feel like you can't bear the pain, um, warm compress, and that's about it. Hormonal changes! I'm so happy right now! I hate you right now! Yeah, them one. So your body is going through, yet again, a whole other spectrum of changes. Damn, it's like our bodies are, like the female body is like a transformer robot. Activate! And so your hormones has you feeling all kinds of ways, making you feel like you're PMSing but on steroids. In my case, I never really had PMS, so I guess it's like I'm PMSing now? All I can say is that I was in all kinds of crazy moods. At one point I even felt depressed. Why? Why do I feel this way? Apparently, that's quite normal. Your baby, your baby may hate you. So I really hated this part of it. My baby, I really feel like he hated me. Listen, after all, it's pretty much like my whole son has spent like his most most of his life attached to my boobs. So obviously for that to be just stripped away, like mom doesn't want to put out. And there were times where he would ignore me and it actually really hurt. I, I, I really didn't like it. Mind you, what I find was really weird is that it was a mutual decision. It was like one day he just didn't want it and I saw it as my escape. I was like, Okay, like, I'm free, I'm like breaking this chain. And you know what, I really wanna take the time to encourage mothers to make sure it's mutual when they stop breastfeeding their kid. Don't feel pressured, don't feel bullied. That's why I breastfed him for so long, because I knew the benefits, I knew how long I wanted to breastfeed him. But it's strange because although I thought it was mutual, I think where his attitude comes from is when he remembers, like when he reminisces about those good times he had with mama. And so it makes him upset, makes him emotional, and vice versa. Honestly, I had to readjust. Like we're both readjusting here because I used to use that milk for everything. It was it was the cure all for all things baby bear. I lost my superpower. And I didn't have that anymore. So it's a readjustment, but you know what? One month in, this too shall pass. Your milk wolf. Your milk spoils. wolf. Your milk spoils. wolf. Your... Oh my gosh. Is that is my milk spoils? 
spoiled? Just kidding. I spilled my green smoothie on my shirt for dramatic effect. And they say breastfeeding isn't sexy. That really reminds me of the time my milk came in. But your milk won't spoil. Um, as your milk supply declines, um, it becomes more concentrated and has more sodium and uh, more of the nutrients kind of like, again, concentrated together. And so it changes the taste of your breast milk and it can make it taste quite um, not not that good. Yes, I tasted it if that's what you're wondering. But it was a concern for me because culturally, my mom always told me that um, if you haven't given the baby milk for an X amount of time, um, the milk isn't good anymore, don't give it to him, don't give in. And so I've been really hesitant, but apparently um, I recently found out, um, I contacted the Lalesh League and I found out that if the baby is asking for milk, it may be a sign that he, you know, it, you know, he wants that closeness with me again. And it's totally safe to give it to him. It's meeting his needs. It's okay. Should I want to do that? Do I want to do that? In the end, it's about knowing what to expect, managing your expectations to make for an easier transition for life after breastfeeding. After all, they give you all this information when you're about to breastfeed. Isn't it, does it feel good to know a little bit about the end? I know I had a lot of um, trouble just getting pieces of information together and that's why I made this video, just to really um, inform you and it's, again, like I don't want to, if I made it seem like breastfeeding is a bad idea, like all of this, no, it's not to discourage you, it's actually to enlighten you and just make for an easier, again, an easier transition for your life going forward. Thanks for watching. A special shout out to my old subs, to my new subs. Welcome. I love you all. As always, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.